I sure lucked out with how many dandelions there are here, even though I don't care for them. There's something happening when I stand up, and I'm getting these head rushes. They worry me a little bit. I know I had head rushes bad on Vancouver Island, but not that bad. I'm hoping they'll go away. Well, I harvested quite a bit of dandelion. So, let's go fishing. Head rush, head rush. How come I get a head rush? I need some fish, man. Lots and lots of fish. That was a big one, too. God, that's disappointing. Come on, man, I need more fish. Let's go. Please, Mongolia. Please, let me get this fish in. I got one. Thank you. Oh, yeah! 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 Thank you, Mongolia. Thank you, Mongolia. Go ahead, brush. Head brush. Time to cook up some vittles. What a needed morale booster, nourishment. I mean, I just can't say enough about it. Well, that was a pretty intense head rush. I've never had a head rush like this before. This is the worst one I've ever had. I blacked out. I hit my head, uh, just very, very glancing, but it could have been pretty bad. I'm laying on my back, and I'm staring at the sky thinking, that is a really blue, pretty sky. And then slowly, my brain fog starts to lift and I realize I'm in Mongolia and I'm on my back and I just fell. I think those dandelions have been dehydrating me pretty bad. The problem is I think those dandelions are a diuretic, which makes you pee. And if they make you pee, then they're keeping my urine color clear. So I'm thinking that I'm hydrated when I'm really not. I'm hoping that cutting the dandelions out of my diet, at least temporarily, will correct these head rushes. It's disconcerting to tip over from a head rush. So that's something that I really need to watch. Something small can turn into something big out here in the wilderness if you let it go. We are out in the middle of nowhere. If you do something catastrophic, you're just screwed. <laughs>